All right, how's it going, guys? My name's Jackal, and as always, when you see this face, you can ignore the channel name, because you are in the right place. We are here to continue our One Piece Watch Along adventure, and that is Watch Along, meaning no audio or video anywhere here on the screen. None of the four corners. It's not going to be here. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, if you're not going to have a device on you, this is not going to be really worth watching. Um, but I do play a lot of old video games that you probably would be interested in. Because let's face it, this anime started in 1999, and the manga in 97, that's older than some of the games I've played. Go to the channel. Not many of the games I've played, though. But yeah, we're here for episode 102. We've only got one more week before we reach what is going to be my one-year anniversary of watching One Piece. I am very excited to reach that. And, um... Yeah, there's not going to be much for me to talk about this time, uh, just because um, the last episode was kind of a burner episode. There wasn't really much going on. It was, it was, it was a if it wasn't a filler episode, it was a filler episode. I don't even remember what happened in the last episode. What happened? I know I'm always forgetting about what happens. Um, shit. I know it was nothing. I know by the end. I know Ace left right after I was like, oh, I wonder how long Ace is going to be around the crew. And, you know, he left right there. Oh, yeah, they found that one guy who was, like, an assassin of some sort, who was, like, the father of those two, like, random kids that had looked like they were from a different anime almost. They had, like, a really different style to them. And, um, yeah, supposedly he was supposed to be the guy who beat Blackbeard and very clearly did not. So I'm going to assume that he was probably told by Blackbeard to like make a story and uh, just kind of throw him off the scent for a while because, you know, Ace just wasted however long doing this whole excursion through the desert when he could have been doing whatever. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just get started with 102. You should have the episode pulled up by now, because like I said, you know, no audio or video. So watch it with me as homies. This is the year 2023. We all have other devices at this point. So, you know, just get another device. All right. Three, two, one. Let's ride. Let's ride. Ba-da-ba-ba-bum, you stop it. I'm trying to get it right in that little, like a little crevasse right here. All right, we're gonna have to just scoot this bad boy over a bit. This is, I need to set this up again, because this is very low on volume. I don't need to blow my eardrum out, but I need a little more than that. Mm, yeah, we'll watch it at a reasonable volume. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I was lost in thought there for a second. Mm -mm -mm. Necky boy, my necky child. <laughs> Believe in wonderland. Why are you gonna be like that? Yeah, I, every time the intro pops up right now, three years without rain, that's fucked. Oh yeah, he gave Luffy that 
piece of paper that I know I've seen that piece of paper burn in the scenes. Ruins and Lost Ways Vivi, her friends on the country's form. Country forms? I don't. But uh, I've seen that paper burn up when Ace, you know. They're carrying Luffy. Why are they making it look so dramatic and epic? So what did Luffy do to get them lost? Is this another filler episode? Did he eat those mushrooms that Sokka ate? Or eat the cactus? Drink the juice? It's the quenchiest. Is this a long going joke of Nami like dangling Zoro's debt to her for getting those swords? Usopp also sounds like he's gonna die. Oh, is he heat stroking the fuck out? One sec, one sec, buddy. One sec. Pause. Pause this. All oh, right, my bad. My son just wanted a little bit of dessert, and he had a really good day at school today, so we're gonna give him some dessert. So, um,. We're uh, at Zoro, like, <sighs> three, two, one, go. Can't count on anyone. Oh, Crocodile. Why is he seeing Crocodile? Does he even know what Crocodile looks like? Submarine. Damn, he just clocked Zoro in his fucking jaw. He doesn't want to use his sword on Zor on his captain. Zoro trying to like throw fists. A cross counter? <laughs> uh oh. They both play each other sleeping at night. What is buried in the sand? Oh, that's Chopper's nose. Watching him smack, snap the shit, smack the shit out of Zoro. Damn, we give him smelling salts, basically. What are you doing, stuff? Oh, I don't think you're following any footprints anywhere, my friend.
Isn't Zoro famous for getting lost? I don't know if we want to be relying on his sense of direction. Everyone's a maverick. That's kind of why the, that's kind of the point. This is the longest monologue I think I've, we've ever heard about fucking, we've ever seen Zoro go on. It sounds like bullshit when he says it though. Zoro's just trying to communicate. We all, we all care about each other enough, and that's all that matters. Uh oh. <laughs> they got the clothesline of Jesus over here. Holy fuck! Hey, look, it's Pride Rock. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know you were... Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Fa -da 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 -da. But yeah, to Zoro's point, it really does seem like the entire Straw Hat crew is basically... It's base, I mean, I guess why that's why Nami's the way she is. She basically has to herd cats all day. And she herself is one, so that's not helping. Jesus Christ. If you came down here, how can we... We left Chopper upstairs. Because Chopper was falling down here too. And there's old boy. <clears throat> I've seen those weird cubes with writing in different One Piece imaging. I don't know what they are though. I know there's something important. They probably tell us the legend of the One Piece. Road Lashes. I forgot his, I keep forgetting his name is Lashes.
Should be there by night. Oh, what did what did someone? Oh shit! Oh, the way the wall like chipped off. I thought Sanji found something. kind of rough to use figure speeches on somebody whose like kingdom is actually at stake culture lifestyle if those things stay the same even when a country changes she's just wondering what the whole point of like a nation is She's wondering what's even the point of the entire monarchy. She doesn't even know if she has a place there as a, as a leader. Which, I mean, based, because monarchy, boo, is much boo. Boo. But yeah, that's the thing. Regardless of whether or not there's a place for you or not in this country, you got to make sure you're... <laughs> I'll never fall to my knees. He says he's going to kick Crocodile's butt. He'll be there. <laughs> well, yeah, it is a dome. Well, yeah, it was built by people. Oh, no, there's fishmen. That's... Never mind. In this kind of world, that's not necessarily a given. Ancient letters. Who cares about stuff that? You are going to care greatly about all this shit. Big they tried to hide this building. <laughs> Luffy is a giant child. <laughs> Soros comedy hole. <laughs> He's trying to grab onto the dome. He's just gonna bust open the whole fucking dome. Well, I guess that's one way to get out of here. Just bring out the whole building. Luffy has an idea.
chopper went back to being small for this one. Fucking flying around at the speed of clown over here. <laughs> and crash landing. I'll be done in a minute. But I do like Zora's little speech, regardless of what he says about being on the wrong ship. He's... I get his feeling there of, you know, everybody on the ship just kind of does their own thing. And they just kind of do their own thing, but together. As weird as that sound. <laughs> I can't lie either. Oi. It's amazing. But yeah, I guess Nami's telling Vivi the same thing. They all got their lane and they just support each other along the way for it. Oh, it's chopper smelling him. Luffy is a special case. He is our special little guy. And there they go. <laughs> Chopper and Zoro fucking dying in the back there. To be continued. There we go. Alright, well that was episode 102. Not a whole lot happened in this episode either. Was hoping more would happen. But it was nice to hear both Nami and Zoro kind of say the same thing of the whole point of the crew. Where just everybody kind of does their own shit. But they all do it in a way that never conflicts with anyone else's. But obviously Luffy being the captain, his dream is going to be the focal point of where everyone's going. But um, yeah, just another episode of me wanting Luffy to be like the real captain. Like I know he's always going to be this way. But I am waiting for, like, a moment that, even if he acts this way, 
throughout the entire show. At very least, I want a moment for there to be like, that's the captain right there. So we'll get it at some point. But that's it for the day, guys. I'll be back on Monday with episode 103. And um, will I get any chance? What am I supposed to play tonight? Ooh, if I play another game tonight, it's going to be Super Metroid. So that's always a good time. So, yeah, more to do. Take it easy, guys. Peace.